Hey everyone, welcome back to Pavli and in this video I am going to show you an easy and effective way to collect leads from a form and add those leads automatically into a CRM application. So guys we all know what is the importance of lead collection for any business. So this automation that we are about to set up is designed just for that only. So let me show you how it is going to work. So here we have taken the example of Cognito forms to build a form which can be a kind of sign up form. Okay. And here as and when any person is going to fill that sign up form, we are going to add the same person as a contact and go high level application, which uh, is a sales and marketing tool and it can be used as CRMs, CRM as well. Okay. So uh, this will streamline your lead collection process. And to make this happen, we are using Pabli connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And guys, the best part of setting up this automation is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this automation very easily. So now let's set up this automation together. So guys, the first step to set up this automation is to log in into your Pabli connect account. And for that, you can check the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pabli connect account in just two minutes and it will provide you 100 free automation tasks for every new month. Okay. So after setting up your account, you can log in and reach the dashboard of Pavli connect here like this. And on this page, guys, you have to start working by creating a workflow. So to create a workflow, you just have to click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So let me fill the name here. So here I've given the name to this workflow as add leads from Cognito forms into go high level automatically. Now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created here like this. And on this page guys, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So this automation is going to work on these two things. So the trigger is the happening of that event, which is going to going to trigger or switch on this automation and the action would be the response toward that trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be a form submission and the action would be to add the form submitter as a contact and go high level at application automatically. Okay. So first of all, you have to set up this trigger here. So from this choose app field in the trigger section, you have to choose a trigger application which is Cognito form in our case. So you have to search for Cognito forms. Okay. And then you have to select the trigger event as new entry. Right. And it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL guys. And it is used to fetch the data out from any external application to public connect. Okay. So with the help of this, we are going to make the connection with uh, Cognitive Forms. Here you can read the instructions. You have to go to your form submission settings section and uh, under this post JSON data to website, you have to paste this webhook URL. This is the process. So let me just copy this webhook URL from here. Okay. So guys, here I have created this uh, kind of contact form or a sign up form you can uh, create here. And here I am under the building section of the form. And here, when you scroll down, you will find the submission settings. So click on submission settings and under the submission settings, you will find this option, which is post JSON data to a website. So you have to toggle this button to on here. Okay. And here under this option, you will find the submit entry endpoint field. So here you have to copy this webhook URL and paste the webhook URL here in this field like this. Okay, right. Then you have to click on save here. Okay, so save the settings. Now click on publish and publish your form. Okay, so our form is published here. Let me open this form here. So this is the form that I have created and I have set a webhook inside this form. And here you can see as I've copied this webhook URL, it started showing this waiting for the webhooks response. So this means now you have to perform a test submission. So this means now you have to fill the form uh, on the behalf of any demo lead. And we are going to capture the data of that demo lead from our form to here in Pavli Connect. Okay. So here I'm opening the form and I'm filling the details of uh, this uh, uh, of a demo lead. Let's say the name of the, the lead is Rashid Khan. Okay. And this is the email of this person. This is the mobile number 
okay and I'm submitting this form here so you can see uh, it is showing thank you for filling out the forms your response has been recorded so the form is submitted now let's check in our workflow if we got the data of this form submission and here you can see in this response section we got the data of the form submission like this here it is showing the form's name and the details filled by any demo lead here is present okay so this is how we can capture the response from Cognito forms now I want to add the same person who have filled the form in go high level application and for that to happen you have to connect go high level application in this action step so from here search for go high level or just type high level okay this is high level right now in the action event you have to select create contact option then click on connect and from this window select add new connection and here it will ask for the token key or the API key to make the connection with high level application so guys uh, to find this key you need to reach the settings of a, a high level application let me show you how you can find this <laughs> So this is my go high level applications dashboard guys and here when you click on this settings page here you can see we have the settings icon click on settings and under the settings you will find this company tab click on company tab and under this company tab when you scroll down you will find this API key just right here so just click on this copy icon okay copy the key and paste this key here in this token field and click on save and you will be connected with high level like this okay and here it is asking the first name the last name the full name and all these things to create a contact in high, go high level application so guys i'm going to map this data that i have received here in the first step uh, to create a contact in high level application so to map this data you just have to uh, click here on this first name field like this and you will find this cogniter forms option in the drop down and when you click here uh, you will find the name of the person as this the first name map it okay and for the last name use the same way map the last name for the full name use the same process okay and for the email find the email and map it okay and for the phone number you will find the phone number here like this okay so if you have all these details you can uh, map all these details right now I am adding the limited details uh, because I have limited details and these are not the compulsory things so I'm leaving these things blank you can enter a tag also you can put a tag on this lead you can upload images as well you can put company name as well okay and now you can check the connection with go high level application here uh, let me open the contact section so here are the contacts lists okay and now i am clicking on save and send test request and a new contact will be uh, reflected here in your go high level application okay so i am clicking on save and send test request and let's see what happens so it is showing this kind of response let's check in the contact section if we got the date of this new contact i am refreshing the list here and here you can see rashid khan is added here in the contacts list okay so this is how you can receive the leads from the form in go high level application and guys we are done setting up the automation so now let me give you a quick recap what i've done here so first of all in the trigger section i connected cognito forms with the help of this webhook url we made the connection and captured the data of a demo lead from the form like this after that in the action step i connected go high level application and map the data from the first step to create a contact and guys you have to set up this automation and map the data only once after that you don't have to do anything manually after that as and when any person is going to fill your form the same person is going to be added in high level application automatically let me show you a real time example so i'm opening my form again okay and now let me fill the name of the person as let's say sonam rai is filling this form this is the email id and this is the phone number okay and I'm submitting this form here okay so that you can see the form is submitted now let me show you directly in go high level application if we got the data of this person here in this contacts list so I'll, let me refresh this list again
and here you can see a new contact with this name Sonam Rai is added here automatically okay so this is how it is going to work and guys the good part is you can use this same workflow that I've just created because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel